So now let's move into how NEPA, SEPA applies as we're talking about this particular project. Now I want to preface this saying, in this presentation we are not going to be going over a number of specific and technical details associated with this project. We'll get, give a, an overview of what some of the key um, aspects of the project are. The focus is on how you will be participating uh, and hopefully want to be participating in the public process for scoping. But the project, and I'm sorry that's sort of dim. Um, you can see, of course, here, I got a little pointer. Ooh, that doesn't even show up. Is it there? Oh, there it is, little tiny dot. Okay, there's Washington State. And then you can see Puget Sound here. And this box up here is the, where the project generally is located. And of course here, we have uh, Bellingham Bay, we have uh, Bellingham where we're sitting right now for orientation up here is Blaine. This green uh, area here, that is not the entire project area. The green represents uh, heavy impact industrial zoning. But this outlined area here in red is the area associated with the project. And it is about 1,200 acres that are uh, uh, the area associated with the SSA project. They are, last I saw, I haven't seen the most recent application, but uh, planning to develop approximately 350 acres. Uh, the other portion of um, both projects we're going to be looking at, as you saw in the overhead, we talked about the Burlington Northern uh, Santa Fe Custer Spur. That is a line here. Where's my dot? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. That's, that's so embarrassing to have like 800 people see the dot before I do. Um, you've got a six mile line approximately that will be put in. Uh, there will be wetland fill associated with that. Uh, all of this property right now is undeveloped. Uh, to my knowledge, is that right, Tyler? Existing rail line, there will be a second line. Thank you. Okay, so a uh, photograph, uh, just sort of an image of just so people can sort of visualize the project. I mean, what you have here is it will be the exportation. It's a, a dry bulk commodities export facility. The estimate that was listed for the amount of coal to be exported would be at full build out, 54 million tons of coal. And uh, there could be other commodities that are going to be exported. This circle here, the large one, uh, is, is the uh, coal storage area. The smaller loop over here to your left uh, is a covered area that could be used for other commodities. Those commodities would be sent out on the trestle that you see here. That's the straight line coming out. And the war a wharf would be constructed. Uh, it's planned for three berths. So that's the proposed general project. So now let's move to the next slide. Let's talk about the key agencies that are involved with the NEPA-SEPA process. There are co-leads. There's three of us federal, state, local level. I've been in ecology for, for many, many years. I have never worked on a project that had three co-leads. So that tells you how unique this project is. Uh, the co-leads are Whatcom County, Department of Ecology, my agency, state agency, and the uh, Corps of Engineers. Uh, Whatcom's the lead on SEPA. Oh. Uh, the Corps, of course, has NEPA responsibilities. Whatcom County asked the Department of Ecology in the state to be co-leads, and we agreed to be so. Why three of us? And why are we all working together? And the reason is we want to integrate the review process. We don't want to have two parallel processes that the public will have to be tracking. We hope and it will avoid duplication of effort and provide comprehensive review. And of course, we'd be collaborating and issuing a combined NEPA-SEPA document. 
and it'll be holistic. We're not going to have parts of it color-coded for SEPA and parts for NEPA. It will be a comprehensive document that will cover the requirements of both sets of regulations. All right, what about our roles and responsibilities? Whatcom County, they will review the project for compliance with SEPA. But they also have a unique role as the administrative lead for SEPA review. In the regulations, it's called a nominal lead, but we follow a number of the administrative requirements that are in Whatcom code and uh, requirements for SEPA. Ecology will be ensuring regional and statewide effects are addressed because of our role as a state agency. That we extend beyond the boundary of Bellingham and Whatcom is the reason that we are participating in this as a co-lead. And the core, of course, reviews the project for compliance with NEPA, and they are the administrative lead for NEPA. All right, now, um, here we have this, this colored graph. Now, we had, we had had an attempt here. It obviously failed. We were going to have two large slides so that you could track this, this process all the way through Tyler's and my presentation. Uh, these will be, this entire slide presentation will be on our websites so that you will have it. Hopefully, you don't have to take a lot of notes tonight. Uh, we'll have the color versions for you.